Out in the void of space, time doesn't tick the same way it does here on Earth. It stretches, bends, and warps, twisting itself around speed and gravity like a thread caught in a storm. This isn't science fiction. It's the strange reality revealed by Einstein's theories of relativity. Special relativity tells us that the faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. Imagine two twins. One boards a spacecraft and rockets off at near light speed. The other stays behind on Earth. When the traveling twin finally returns, something astonishing has happened. They're younger than their sibling. This is the twin paradox. It's not a trick or illusion. It's time itself stretching and compressing depending on motion. Speed, it turns out, is not just about how fast you get somewhere. It also decides how much of time's river you actually sail through. But speed isn't the only culprit that distorts time. General relativity introduces another powerful player, gravity. Massive objects like planets, stars, and especially black holes can warp the fabric of space-time. The stronger the gravity, the slower time moves near it. If you stood near the edge of a black hole, seconds for you could mean years for someone watching from a distance. The deeper you fall into gravity's grip, the more time slips away from you. Unnoticed. Irreversible. This isn't just theory. We've already measured it. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station age a tiny bit slower than people on Earth. Their clocks tick just a fraction of a second behind ours, because they're both moving fast and orbiting outside Earth's gravitational well. It's minuscule, but it proves the point. Time is not constant, it's elastic, it's personal. Time dilation changes how we think about aging, about distance, even about causality. It reminds us that the universe doesn't run on the rhythm of our watches. The clock on your wrist may not agree with the one on a satellite, or with the heartbeat of a star collapsing into a black hole. In space, time is a living, breathing thing, stretching under pressure, folding under mass, and never quite behaving the way we expect. And the deeper we go into the cosmos, the more alien time becomes.